Okay guys, just want to very quickly show here that uh, just holding the fluoro in your hand like that, chuck them to the active terminal to get wireless lighting. Does actually draw current. I can show that needle moving shortly. Um, other thing I wanted to show as well just to reinforce that somewhat there's a, uh, a neon there connected to a separate ground the, um, the neutral on the uh, transformer secondaries is connected to one ground one leg of that neon is connected to a separate ground the other leg is connected to the aluminium plate the aluminium plate is connected to this fluoro tube and so I'll light that there and what that does it has the effect of grounding the, some of the current that goes through the fluoro tube into this plate take this away so that there's no ground and the fluoro still lights so does the neon even though it's not even touching the the um, right there yeah, it's far enough away from the plate on the right but anyway I'll set this up so I can uh, so the current, it will draw a small amount of current, a smaller amount, a lesser amount of current increase just without the wire on top and when I connect the wire on top to this, to this aluminium plate it will draw slightly more current. Okay, so we'll do that now. This is with the transformer is idling at the moment. I'm not sure the actual frequency is you know, above 10 kilohertz. Okay, so this is just a single tube, just holding the hand with no wire connected to it. Definitely see the needle move up, an increase, increase in current being drawn by the circuit, an increase in power being used by the circuit. When I connect the wire with the aluminium plate connected to it the light's slightly brighter because there's a capacitance attached to the end of it and so the current increases slightly more if you didn't look very closely you wouldn't see the increase Just a few LEDs you definitely would not see. Not much you had an accurate milliamp meter. Considering I'm measuring the, the current, the DC current drawn from the battery, and it's drawn from the battery with a very large amount of smoothing capacitors, 
in between the battery two sets of capacitors in between the battery and the circuit